Hello everybody, welcome to the quarterfinal replays. Uh, we've got Bright versus Mega Bonobo with uh, Kemri versus Undead. Doesn't look like there's any inducements. Um, and in the booth with me is Fimey. Hello. Hello everybody, here we are. Kemri versus Undead. Under the heat. So yeah, that's going to be... There is a babe for Bright. Bright for the Camry. 12, 13 for the Undead, 12 for the Camry. I don't know who Mega Bonobo is, so um, on that basis I would favour Bright. But Undead are well, still a decent team, aren't they? But they do fall off at high TV though. So I guess on teams I'd favour the Camry. Everything has very good players. The players are there with strength, tackle, uh, mighty blow pylon. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Only armor seven, though. Oh, oh, a weak point. <laughs> it comes interesting part because usually, you know, the undead can use the mummies to bully the other team, but with four uh, tomb guardians with guard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't bully that. <laughs> What's he doing here? He's hitting the strength guy without block. I don't like that. He could have just. I don't just like that. He, he has a, a uh, Doom Guardian with block, mighty blow. Yeah. Doing a good job of stopping these mummies doing anything. I guess that was his main focus. Ooh. Oh, but that dodges out. Yeah, the dodge out, and then he gets the 2D. Gets the pow. Is this going to be immediate punish for that blitz? No. <laughs> no, no, not punish it enough. So at least he keeps the Toomies off him for a turn. So he's going again with that. I guess it's not terrible. I guess it's not terrible. Lucky. <laughs> I can tell you that Mega Bonobo is probably Spanish by the names of players. Ah. See, it's with him, and then he gets an extra hit. I wouldn't. Okay, it doesn't take the hit. Maybe he ran out of time. I just thought better of the hit. But I yeah, would have probably hit. just hit with this guy and then have this guy free. Maybe he's Tiger Goo or something. I would have taken that too, even against a blood firm. I still think it's pretty You roll a pow, you roll a pow. I mean, to the. Yeah. It can happen. I've seen it. <laughs> Done to me, of course. <laughs> and he gets the foul. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely depressing first turners for both teams. Yeah, this has been terrible, hasn't it? <laughs> Nothing has happened. <laughs> Absolutely tragic. He's not blitzing with his pommer. I guess he's just taking him back, keeping him back as uh, as like potato, few, like you know, potato insurance. Yeah, but... No, I think he can kill all the ghouls on the pitch by himself. Yeah. But yeah, at least he was the other one to do something. Like, he's just not done anything, has he? Hello, Satletod. The problem is he just hasn't done anything, and now he's finally committed that guy. Well, if you're going to finally commit him, why don't you blitz with him? Since he's got block. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> having seen it, I don't even. <laughs> Petra. 
Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? The constant blitzing and art block. I yeah, mean, I can I mean, see they like the point. But... Block, mighty blow, for God's sake. Mm. Yeah, he should have got. He should have rotated around the previous turn so that he could have made the positional blitz with a better player than that. Wow, dodging him before the dodge character. I like the fact that now the tacklers are at the other side of the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, like he held that guy back so long, and then when he moves one tackler over at the side, he moves the other tackler and they move over the, other the same one. side. Yeah, it's a really weird play from Brian. Maybe it was to tempt Mega Bonobo into doing something. Well, clearly he did. Yeah. Uh, there is Getting only out of a space. Sorry. Yeah, so now he's brought them back. That's okay, actually, isn't having them next to each other so that if they base one, like, you know, they've got a base front or behind, they can't base from the side, so they'll get just put them straight away. Oh, it's Nigel. Tomb Guardian with a. Uh, it's Nigel. Maybe he's new to Blood Bowl. <laughs> hey. This is nice, got two on one. We've got to make sure it keeps them hemmed in. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that was the uh, Raudi, but was good, yeah. Bless this. Good. He just left this guy on the floor. He should have stood him up, shouldn't he? I don't think it was wor worth. Like, unless he was stunned, I think... I don't know if he's running out of time or what, but there's been a few moves that I think he should have done and hasn't done. I mean, I know what you're saying, Art, but if you let him move up there and then you can shut him down, it's fine, isn't it? But, um, doesn't look like he's done that. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> oh, there is some ghouls exposed, there is a ghoul that exposed that's gonna get insta pump. Yep. Yep, he's managed to pump a ghoul out of it, so Making this some blockless block first though. Giving uh Artemis heart attack. <laughs> I think this was maybe the time to actually not blitz with a pump. Oh my god! But I think you should have blitzed with the other guy. Do you know what I mean? Like you could have, uh, you could have had the pommer. You could have assisted with a pump and blitz with the other one. But he just didn't. I don't know how you don't hit a goal. Uh, I think actually it was better to have the strength for holding the side. But I'd hate hitting the blockless block, and I hate doing that blitz. Yeah. Hit not freeing this guy up. Couldn't you free this guy up? I don't know. I don't. Wright seems to be playing terribly. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, I know he's good at Blood Bowl. So, it's weird that he's playing. No, no, I mean, he could have blitzed the. The ghoul and reposition the tackle player without any problem. Got 2D on the ghoul. Yeah, it seems very strange. I'm not a fan of how he's playing this. Not to say that I'm right and he's wrong. <laughs> but it's still surprising. Like normally you can. Normally people do mostly the same thing, don't they? I mean, it wasn't as disastrous on a Y9, was it? But um, it wasn't good on a Y9. DFIs. Yep, gets the 1D. You get 1D. Sorry, but. 2D. Ah, yeah. 
Sí, donde va el... But I mean, he was like, it wasn't that easy for him to push up, was it? That was the thing. I think he did a decent job of protecting it, it's kind of decently. But now he can, uh, now he can get away and easily stall, can he? That white is failing every single dodge. <laughs> it's a dramatic uh, white. Yeah. He'd already moved the guy there, though. Oh, so he can't just move and come back. Or... The pow, look a dog. Pretty good on armor seven character in it. But... I don't know. I will take that uh, block. Risk. Yeah, the last one. Satu plus. But... No, he gets to hit him. Ow! <laughs> it's not actually Charlie's gonna be a late run, a late Blood Bowl run confirmed today as well. <laughs> at, the, at the low, low price of $500. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'll be playing. I'll be playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. Oh, there you go, didn't even do it. foul. Well, after uh, eight times that not much has happened, the undead score. Yeah. Yeah. I think Bright could have done more. Yeah, it seemed pretty lame from Bright, to be honest. Oh, this is actually quite good. This is good for Mega Bonobo because they'll definitely oh, yes. pass the next time. Um, it is the, of course, the lovely Noalius, um, who's uh, who's been been gifting gifting subs like crazy recently. Are you actually doing a Are you going to do a CCL run? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> Maybe two. Which races? I don't know. High elves or uh, Necro am I? Am I prime choices? I approve half of the... the... <laughs> I mean, probably high elves. I think I'll start with high elves. I'll have a look and see what's open. It's a shame that EAB isn't working right now, is it? Oh, no, Alias, yeah, maybe I should go. <laughs> maybe I should go Necro and call all of the zombies no Alias <laughs> so you can so you can demand DP. <laughs> Okay, on the zombie. <laughs> Mr. Page's entire life. <laughs> yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> oh, no. I don't know, Artemis. Maybe that people already existed. <laughs> Maybe it's not time to look outside, and it's time to look inside. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Way. 
actual cars. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the Elliot, the Elliot dirty player, Nogle Warrior. I don't really want to happen to me. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't really want that to happen to me. So. <laughs> So the safest way to not have that happen is to have zombies that I wouldn't mind taking to. Right, so yep, they came back. And nothing there. Oh, in fact, the weather changed to normal, so... Okay. Still 11 players for the Undead and 11 for the Camry. Oh, and the leaders on the beach, extra moving. Oh, nice. Uh, Aurora. Yeah, and the DB Brett Blitzer, yeah. Yeah. Just make an all zombie team. It did, yeah, it did, to be fair, Elliot's DP actually did things. <laughs> what I can see, that was watching a game of Elliot and did a foul with the Nargel Warrior and the other guy can see. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> and then they had to play again. Yeah. yeah, that was fucking priceless, that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, that was that was definitely that was definitely amazing. But if I had done it, it would have been foul into double ones into sent off and losing the game and fucking hating my life. <laughs> so I think I shouldn't do that. I think that's for something for other people to do. <laughs> Eleven peasants and griff, yeah. Yeah, I'll see what's open. I think I like high elves the most, so I might do high elves. Filthy skull, they're great, aren't they? High elves would be great. I'm surprised he didn't try to wear a chair. This is a. Uh, a little bit lazy and uh, arguably lazy from uh, right here. What he could have done was he could have blitzed one of the uh, mummies and got an extra hit on a zombie or a wipe with a quick snap. I guess he just didn't want to. Oh god, no, Alias Gutters would be amazing. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's so good. Another one's gone. Touchdown fouling was literally the best thing about Blood 2. <laughs> if you ask me. Which, you know, why would you? But if you did, <laughs> that's what I'd say. has the problem I don't think he can take the ball from the Cambry so clearly he's going to stop them yeah. it's rough that he's just got to he's just got to get beaten up for a few turns and then uh, hope to win the toss in overtime I guess I don't like hanging his dirty player out to dry because his best chance is, is to keep that dirty player so that he can foul the pommer. So like the, the pommer doesn't pom, because if you let the pom just pom all the time. Be bad, it? A beast dirty player. Yeah. Ah yes, moving in. Be assist on the strength four block. <laughs> very important, very important. He could have fouled the with the guard. 
Yeah, interesting that he moved that guy in, isn't it? I would have just punched and see what happens before I moved him in. It's like, you could have just cast him there, couldn't he? Or at least KO'd him. And then if he KO's him, then he's got a guy out of position for no reason. So I think it was definitely right to make that block and then and then move him. Because he can't have forgotten that his own guy strength four. Like we can forget watching, can't we? That that guy strength four, but he should oh. never forget. Wow, that's huge. Huge. Oh. Huge. I I am pretty much a dwarf player, to be fair. At least I admit it, though. I'm not like, not like Artemis and PC. <laughs> At least I'll admit that I'm a dwarf player. <laughs> and then the block that he gave up for no reason gets this guy stunned. Go ahead. So now he's made it a fight about the. Mummies versus Tomb Guardian, now it's three versus two. But he's got stun firmings. Nah, uh, yeah, I'm sure you've said that you weren't a dwarf main before. I'm sure you've said it. I'm sure you said something. I can't remember what it was, but I'm sure you've spoken words in your life before. <laughs> <laughs> now proper foul here on the mummy. My favourite thing was Orgamus Black that just played dwarfs all the time. <laughs> that was the best that was the best art that was the best art thing. I've been this all to just play fun teams for fun. I'm just going to spam dwarves on them. <laughs> that was pretty great. Big foul there, wasn't it? If he'd removed that mummy, like him, him going down a mummy. Like, going down a Tomb Guardian's bad, but going down a mummy would be terrible at this point. <laughs> Bring your seat anywhere else with a big hand and false beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, got his guy stuck on stand firm. Uh -oh. That would have been a perfect time for the roll, I think. <laughs> Tricky, I think that was just the perfect time to just not do it. <laughs> you know, like you've spent all the other half like blitzing with blockless mummies. And I think this would have been the time to have not made that blitz because, you know, there's three there's three very mobile ghouls on the loose here. His ball his balls deep in his own territory. His balls deep, <laughs> um, and now he's got to bring it back up again. And he's put it right next to the mummy anyway, which is just insane. Like, why would you even like? Literally, you're worried about the mummy base and the ball, and you've just brought it right back into range where it can get automatically based by the mummy. But anyway. Um, like you're more worried about the ghouls, aren't you? So like, it just seems crazy to isolate him. Yeah, like obviously he's going to base the like literally that's why he ran back last turn was so that he didn't get base. And then he moved it forward where he could get base. That's insane. That's fucking insane. I don't understand. Bright has played this terribly, if you ask me. Terribly is maybe an overstatement, but you know, for a chalice quarterfinal, I don't think he's had his best day. <laughs> Obviously, people can play terribly. Like people can literally lose to the uh, the AI in Blood Bowl, can't they? So it's not objectively terrible, but I think certainly by his standards, it's uh, well below par. Trying to dodge with Tomb Guardians now. Lunatic. Was 
It was with break tackle, but yeah, there it goes. Nice snakes, and I think there is a chance of a hit on the ball. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> there might be a hit on the ball here. Yeah, I know it was a great tackle, but it was funny to say, oh god, he's dodging yeah. the team again. <laughs> Aye, he's got grab. So yeah, just needs a push there, and now he's got 2D with Rattle on the ball. The old Rattle gets him. No, he doesn't. Oh. He's got dodge. Doesn't get him at all. He's got dog. <laughs> but basing the ball is a disaster for Kemri anyway, isn't it? Like, you know, as much as we meme about basing the ball, for Kemri it's pretty it's pretty damn terrible. Especially if you base it with her mummy, it's unfair. Mm. Does he just dodge here to try and Potato away somehow. This is just terrible. I think mean, he's just got himself into just trouble this drive and lost it for himself. Yeah, just dodge. Blades get the pal. Yeah, this is like basically what he had to do, I think. Terrible. Probably should foul. Not good. Uh, one D. Whoa. Spicy. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it gets him back first. That's. That's absolutely what you gotta do. Does the mummy double GFI to base the ball? <laughs> oh wow! There you go. Do, do you see that fine man? Thank you. So the uh, son on the next uh, win an RTD. If you can pass me the lyrics. <laughs> I don't know many songs uh, uh, like that. <laughs> oh God, Ali Red. <laughs> he gets the power again. Huge. Playing no with fire here. Playing with fire. Oh, there you go. Magic potato. <laughs> I mean, there is a goal there with tackle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And why did he do that? Shouldn't he have one deed for a power just so he could get... Oh, I guess he's got break tackle. Okay, he's got break tackle. He's got a break tackle and, like, GFI to tag the goal. Then he blocked his own path. By I don't think that's how you uh, tag the goal. No, no, he, he blocked his path by making that block. If he didn't make the block, he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, GFI, GFI, and that's the goal. And okay, 8 times out of 9, he dodges away anyway. <laughs> How about the John Barnes rap? That would be something, wouldn't it? I know what he's doing at, obviously, but... I would have made him do a 1 in 9. To actually get the goal, because he's got tackle. Uh, and that's it. That's game. GG. I don't need to say it. It's obvious, isn't it? I mean, isn't that obvious that he's tagged to stop the 2D? But I think it would have been better to have tagged the goal. Stopping the 2D was a goal with dodge to get the 2D. So. Mm. Do you know the John Barnes rap by me? No. Oh. <laughs> How do you know? Oh, not? no, finally, no, Luke. Finally. <laughs> finally. 
finally turned 16. He has not. He has not gone to the Ornan school of winning the World Cup. <laughs> That's not how you get 16 armor breaks. Wait until turn 16 to prime on. There you go, Fimey, right? What watch this. Watch this and then do that. That would be the best. <laughs> I don't know any fucking drinking or football songs either, to be honest. Jesus Christ, Almaty, I can't understand a single word that he says. He's like a guy. And it's not because the color of his skin is because I can't understand people who speak singing in other language. <laughs> I'm not racist. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. It's pretty fast, yeah. Oh, dear. Right. Well, there you go. That was a game. That was the most boring game I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. Well, maybe it's not. It was one of them. That was shite. So there you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Bonobo. <laughs> Commiserations, Bright. <laughs> Thanks, Fimey. <laughs> Oh, it's always a pleasure here. And, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.